Yo, 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 what is going on, my guys? Today, I'm gonna be breaking down my final eight matchup versus Noah up next in the Madden Club Championship, Madden 21 Club Championship, that is. Starting off, man, Noah's gonna be running a lot of trips, but he's not really running that meta trips that we all see, the air it out, the playmaker. He's kind of more conservative, and you know, he is a toter at heart, so he started, starts off the game with the inside zone, probably just to get to a hash, but like I said, man, Noah is more traditional for like his clock management, um, you know, his run vision, his run stick, and you know, his defensive stick. So he's not really gonna be looking to air it out all this game. And I know you guys may have probably watched this already, but this is my high in-depth analysis on it. As you guys see right here, literally right on cue, Noah's not gonna be looking to pass it that much this game. Only when he has to, as on a third and 10, a third and 10, he cracks it inside zone. And that's how I knew, okay, I, I gotta sell out to the run this game and you know, make sure I could stop it all game long. Noah ends up calling a timeout after you know that first down uh, that he got with Bo Jackson due to the fact that he was in three wide that play. And you know, you, we all know Noah loves to audible down to two uh, wide receiver, two running backs slash two tight end sets. See right here, he runs that uh, eye slot close, um, halfback dive stretch, whatever, excuse me, halfback dive alert with the RPO on the side. And we actually blow that up, but you know, this that's not the last he's gonna be going to that formation. As we see right here, he is in trips. And you know, right off the bat, he ran the same play twice whenever he wanted to pass i did account for that you know i kind of played a little soft in the beginning to you know just feel out his tendencies that's how first drives always go man um i was running a little bit of a zone drop defense you know five or ten flat with you know a 20 slash 25 purple on the side uh, out of that three three five wide cover three uh mike blitz three as noah you know ends up calling his second timeout already so you know he's already down to one timeout as you see right here, he goes into eye tight and you know, he does this very well. He had set up a pass play right there, but you know, he, he thought to himself, what if I get sacked? No, it's not really worth it. It is a third and two and that's why you run. Bo Jackson is gonna move the sticks. And you know, honestly, this has been a really great drive so far by him. As once more, he goes into the eye tight. You know, Noah for me right now, he's just trying to scheme out a run that he could run. He's trying to test my run defense see what runs I, you know, play good against, see if I'm spying my safeties. Um, the run isn't as good this year as it was last year by any margin or any means, but that doesn't mean you can't still run it. So, you know, he definitely is, he's moving efficient. You know, if you're getting four or three yards a pop, even two yards a pop, I wanna say two, but you know, four to three yards a pop, you could consistently run, uh, chew this clock and, you know, make it easier for yourself. As you see, he is running this Vegas tour to a T, Las Vegas playbook is literally insane. He's in single back ace right here, just looking for runs. And I'm not gonna lie, he almost bounced that out. It didn't look like he was gonna bounce it out, but it was literally the CPU versus him. And you know, not to mention Bo is literally like a 99 or 100 speed, whatever you wanna make of it, compared to, you know, Sean Taylor's like 96. I only say 100 speed because, you know, I feel like Bo is just different with that 50-50 Raiders and the double sprinter. He literally just moves different. Is right here, he's gonna try to chuck this up because I think he had like mid out of lead, basically to make that curl flat corner run fast slash, you know, better results on the catch. I'm kind of happy, you know, Sneed didn't get torched. And as you see right here, um, this is a tense moment. So they kind of zoomed in on us, but you know, we get that deflection. I definitely wanted to pick on that, but it is what it is. It's a fourth down and one, he goes backwards with the play call. He did have his drag open. I kind of, you know, guarded the same thing twice, but we sent that pressure, Rod Woodson off the edge, and Noah like, likes to, you know, let those play actions carry out quite a bit. You know, it's kind of smart, but in hindsight, you get screamed at so much. I did notice that, and you know, right there, that's what happened. And right here, boys, we're gonna just audible the bunch tight end on the first play, kind of test his run defense, and you know, I kind of saw something, if I kind of cut it back uh, to the right side right there, but he does bag it. Right here, man, running one of my favorite plays. I did have this. I just threw it way too late as he kind of, I guess that's a, that is a 50-50. That's not the best read. That definitely could have been caught in bounds, but we all know that animation. Hate it or love it. You know, I, I get lucky right there. I will admit, um, I, I feel like that was open, but I still threw it very late. And I do have matchup. He has one step, so they're kind of just counteracting each other. It's right here, playmaker. I really should have racked this to make it easier on myself, but I'd end up, you know, possession catching. I kind of got a little scared. And now, boys, I go to one of my favorite plays out of bunch tight end. 
if you want to lurk some setups i highly recommend you lurk this setup i mean it's not the best play but you know i have players open uh rewind the play art if you want basically I had a drag on terry mclaurin that i could play maker any each way tight end crosser with matchup nightmare out route on the left side and a street going up the middle basically to just clear out that left side and you know I feel like that's just a very underrated play out a bunch tight end. You could do a lot. Everyone knows the PA rollout crosser, but you know, that's what I really like about bunch tight end. You can mix it up, catch him lacking, catch him napping. Right here, I'm gonna be looking to run inside zone once more. Um, see if he could stop it. And there it goes Waller literally paving an extra blocker for me. That does happen on inside zone all of a sudden now. I don't really even know. It's been happening since like last year, I wanna say. But he really had a good user to kind of juke out my Darren Waller blocker and kind of hit stick me. Thankfully, we didn't fumble. But really, fumbles don't happen. And if you notice, I am running quite a bit this game. I know I get ball at half. And, you know, this is already in the second quarter. This is only my first drive. If we could honestly keep dripping the clock down, get ball at half, we could double dip the chip if we can play good defense on this, you know, on his next drive. That's right here, boys. Another great staple in the um, gun bunch jet stick as right here Randy Moss gets that beat press animation. He knows it. I know it Bruh, what kind of animation you see me? <laughs> you just see me mad. You see him kind of glad um, He beat the press if you run jets dig, you know, there's a certain press animation and he didn't have um, safety help deep it was kind of in that no man's territory of like you know am I really gonna go deep here it's the 40 yard line excuse me the 35 yard line and you know I guess it was kind of like no man's territory and I kind of just went backwards with the thinking thinking I could go deep and obviously I was able to but nonetheless just a very unlucky play for us it's all good we get three right there as you guys see right here you see the replay um, just like he just torched him man he just tore absolutely torched him and I've never seen that animation, man. That's usually a rack ag touchdown every single time. Right here, Noah runs a 0-1 trap and TJ Watt just says, nope, you're not doing that against me. Great run stop. And right here, he runs inside zone, but we're kind of there, but Bo, Bo, man, he just falls forward. And you know, he is the best running back. I'm glad I got his jersey. Um, I'm gonna rock it out one of these days. And that just goes to show, you know, even though I don't, you know, I was kind of toting this game. I still like, I still like to run, man. I'm not a toter, but I am balanced. It's right here. Noah tries to run the the world's famous play, PA, PA rollout, PA boot over. And, you know, our double or nothing's just eat. We're very, you know, happy. You know, he called the play that we're ready for and we get the ball back. Right here, guys, running smash return, uh, matchup nightmare on the tight end. We're gonna just try to roll out. Boys, I really think I can make that throw, but honestly, probably not. Um, you know, I don't I don't really know what zone drop that was, but you know, the zone drop and the man were kind of out of position. It's just not smart to throw that man. I should have done more labbing with that as right here. We're just trying to go deep. Uh, Noah had a, t a tell whenever he, you know, uh, we, me and my boys kind of figured this out about him. Whenever he was like running cover two and you could kind of tell by his cornerbacks, he would love to blitz so that's why i'm max protected right there boys and you know at the end of the day he mixed it up perfectly he caught me napping he ended up running send three defense and you know just you know just great defense nothing more i could really say about that it's right here we're just trying to get some of the yards back and we just we kind of we kind of like get that throw to sack i wouldn't say i would have had that throw but he definitely got a little aggressive right there man yeah i'm gonna punt the ball back that's right here, guys. He's starting to find his, try to find his runs, and it looks like he found his run. Um, I actually had a certain gap shoot for it, but you know, I didn't really even run it this game. But thankfully now, you know, if someone ever runs this run against me, I'll be prepared for it. I want to say, as right here, if he gets point, any points right here, this is gonna be a sweaty game. Nonetheless, it will be a sweaty game no matter the outcome. Um, as right here, he just hits a drag to Waller. And right here, they don't end up showing the play. They were kind of zooming in on Noah, but he just runs a like power O for like a yard, gets the first down. Right here, man, I, I close, power O to the right, and wow, just great stick work. Oh, it's it's kind of scary because he's like, he's at a, such a fast pace now. No huddling, two minute warning. To the 19 yard line. Haven't seen a Jamal Charles item on the field here in the club championships, but Noah breaks him out in a clutch situation. Yes. Oh, it's off the back of the head. And there goes Simmons. And Noah can't believe it. The rookie had a clutch set. Oh, my God. Making the pinball pick. Take that to the house. The four time Raiders club champions of 
Two scores. I've never seen that before. He threw that so early. Wow. Me. I don't even know. No way. Oh, you have got game. to be kidding me. It bounces off the offensive Holy lineman, man. and Isaiah Simmons picks it out of the it. air off the lineman's back and I'm takes right. it to the house. And, you know, he's just calling plays. And, bro, the luckiest play I got probably this whole tournament, Isaiah Simmons pick six. That's literally a, a game-changing play that just happened. And, you know, I'll kind of go back and uh, zoom in on what happens. But, you know, I can't even believe it. That's extremely lucky and blessed for us. As you guys see, pay attention to where he throws it. It literally hits off the lineman because he threw it so prematurely. And, you know, Noah was kind of just, you know, that we all know that angle route. As you see, I'm very excited. And I'm like, I'm just cheesing, man, because I got a gift from God right there. Um, but we all know that angle route. You could throw it. He threw it very fast and ended up being picked off for six. Um, just, a, just a crazy play that really never happens. And, you know, it hurts him a lot because I was a little bad. And, you know, I'm going to end up getting the ball up two possessions going into half, man. And for reference, look at our yards, man. We're 33%, 18 yards. I'm not happy about that. We did have an unfortunate play to Moss, but nonetheless, we'll take it. It's right here, guys. Um, I'm on a hash, but I'm now just seeing I had a touchdown to Randy Moss right there. Um, I really didn't rewatch a lot of my games, but that play right there, I did have a touchdown to Randy Moss. Noah was running like 30 zone drop purples or 25, I want to say. It's right here. Bo Jackson is hitting the edge. Cutting up the middle, and now he's going to be out, right? Right? Marcus Peter tracks us down, but nonetheless, I'm telling you that inside zone at a bunch tight end is nice. And you know how ironic that Noah, the best runner probably on the circuit, couldn't stop this inside zone for a little while. And you know, man, I saw that, and I had to keep going back to it just in case. It's like literally a click away, audible away, and it's just so fast-paced. It's right here. We're going to this 0-1 trap. Let's see if he can stop it. And he just gets blocked. Easiest touchdown I've ever had in the MCS game probably right there. Um, literally just ran twice and I just got a touchdown. And we're up by 17, man. This is looking GG. But if you know Noah, if you watch this game, you know it's not GG's yet. Um, he is he's going to have to start passing it now. And he, this is one of his go-to plays. We run cover three and we left the third on the left side. I was honestly just thinking he was going to run the ball to get to a hash. And, you know, just like that. He cuts it down. Just bad defense by me. Great play by him. I know tendencies. I know, like, you just got to watch out for that streak. And I always make adjustments for that streak. Um, but right there, just I, I got a little too aggressive with my user. I should have kind of just went up and to the right to kind of guard the streak and the post at the same time. Because, you know, honestly, give them that any day of the week if you're in that position, you know. And, boys, uh, here, I don't want to get too one-dimensional, man. I really do not want to get too one-dimensional. It's right here. We hit this nice little uh, delay fade. The delay fades are back and better than ever. Um, Darren Waller with that delay fade. He was kind of there in the vicinity. Noah's a great user. Should have, you know, it was a risky throw a little bit. But, nonetheless, he had no acrobat. He had, you know, no chance of really picking that off. And, boys, I just want you to just pay attention. I'm going to clock this game out, man. Or try to, I should say, as he finally stands up for himself right there, stopping the inside zone. And I blame Barry. I blame that on Barry because I didn't have Bo in the game. I'm just joking. Barry ended up scoring for me this game, which is super clutch. And guys, man, I really just don't want to get one-dimensional. I'm going to have to pass it. You really can't keep running in these scenarios. It's right here. I just block everyone. Try to get this rollout. I may have had Moss, honestly, boys. But we'll take our yards right there. We'll take our yards. Um, seven yards, honestly, that looked like it was nothing, but we end up getting quite a bit of yards. And man, I really wish I didn't go into bunch tight end this play, uh, nonetheless, or just, you know, run this play, because he sent the dogs. Noah gets aggressive, man. We, I know it, you know it, Noah got extremely aggressive, and I think I called Hack very, very fast on that play, so, you know, he's going to have uh, quite a bit of time. I'm going to make sure this clock goes to one, and then I'm going to punt it. I end up having a very terrible punt. I mean, not that bad, but honestly, like, it's not the greatest punt. I've seen worse, though, guys. But, you know, I really wanted to pin him deep, maybe get a safety, maybe just make him at work for it. But nonetheless, we're going to have to set up shop and hold the door. And Noah's starting to go back to that stretch that he literally, he found the stretch, man. And, you know, once playing someone like Noah, if they find that run, it could get scary for you, man. 
He found the run that was working really well versus me. I was just shifting for no reason. You have to spread your defense and kind of sh run through, shoot where the uh, guard kind of pulls through. As you see right here, he's gonna run it again. I should have spread my D-line and kind of shot that gap right there. But you know, we're gonna just spy our safeties for now and kind of contain the run. Cause you know, it's not at a point where we need to stop the run. You know, if he's running, that's cool with me. The clock is still ticking. But you know, those chunk plays, we cannot afford that. As you see right here, guys, he goes to one of his favorite plays and Terry actually just runs this route so fast. And we drop a pick, man. We actually just drop a pick that maybe probably would have just sealed the game before the game, you know, ends at, you know, the fourth quarter. Um, it is what it is though, I can't complain. We got extremely blessed before half, so we'll live with it. As you see right here, he's going to, you know, really good play. Uh, and right here, he makes a great read, but not only is, that's not what I'm impressed about. I'm impressed with that stick work. He jukes to stay in bound and gets that first down rather than being, you know, a fourth and two, fourth and one scenario. So great move right there. I see guys once more, um, he does go to this formation, but he catches the snapping and that's why he rocks those play actions. It tricked me entirely. You know, I was setting up shop, setting up my run D cause he kept gashing me. He kept gashing me and um, what's it called? He just right there, just a perfect play, perfect play. Kamara does get hit stick, but you know, but he would have fumbled, that would have been wild. And what a great way to make a tackle right there. We're going to the fourth quarter. This is going to be a tight game right here. Honestly, this is like one of those games. We've all had these games where we kind of just had to hold the lead. Just hold the lead for the entirety. I don't like playing in these, but I feel like I'm one of the best in these scenarios. Um, and, you know, if we can make them kick three right here, it's going to be very, very nice. And if not kick three, I mean, just at least take up like at least a minute or two of this clock, man. Right here, man, he's gonna pass. He ran the same play that, you know, he threw that pick six on, that wild play. And, you know, he just hits a simple drag right there. And he kept no huddling, man. And honestly, in hindsight, I should have probably called timeout to set up shop, get my adjustments set up. Um, as right here, he's he's honestly actually gonna just audible down. Psyche, he, he runs inside zone. He kind of duped me right there. Um, and it was just a good play call. I should have been ready to shoot that gap. Should have brought my safeties down. And, you know, just make sure, you know, him, like, if I shoot that in the backfield, he's 100% kicking three. If I even stop him on the one or two yard, uh, two or three yard line, he's kicking three. But due to that, he's going to go for it, which could work on our favor, guys. Let's just see how this play unravels. So he comes out and I close with a personnel that basically means that he could audible the goal line. We try to shoot this gap, but power O is too good, man. As you see, he gets super hype. Um, he's just super hype right now, man. And that was honestly a very gutsy play call. And you guys could see I'm kind of a little nervous right here. That base actually pops off for us. Base is a really, really good run. I love base, man. Um, it's just a great run, man, especially when people spread their D line and all that type of stuff. It's really hard to shoot the gap. And, you know, I like to motion someone from the bunch side, aka the side where there's three receivers, aka tight end and two receivers. The right side, I would like to motion him. Literally what I'm gonna do right here, I like to motion him all the way to the left and it kind of seals off that backside uh, edge defender is right here. We're gonna do the same thing again. And you know, we didn't get the similar result. Something weird happened. I think I should have motioned uh, my outside bunch receiver rather than the slot. And I think I'll do that in future reference. It makes sense to me now. He kind of come in, came in free. And you know, that's see, I'm learning things as we play right here. And right here, Noah, he, he didn't even, uh, what's it called? He'd even flip his nickel with me. That's right here, we hit the almost dagger. What a crispy dot. See, we only have 72 yards. Santana, Mount, Santana Moss running that mesh route for us. And you know, it cleared the cover two. It's such a great play versus cover two. Oh man, that just took a lot of stress off me. And if we could kind of bounce this out. That's right here, we just run base again. Trying to just take his time. Um, I play this very, very conservative. You know, it's very typical that someone run, runs twice and then passes on third. Um, me, I know I'm gonna pass on third. He probably knows I'm gonna pass on third. It's just very predictable. But we go to a play he hadn't seen yet. And this play was just a dot, man. I, I don't know why I motioned this outside, you know, uh, drag. I kind of just did that for, you know, if he did blitz the house. And right here, we did a drag to Darren Waller. And, you know, basically, I, I know why I did that. <laughs> I motioned that guy so the guy wouldn't get in the way of the playmaker. 
um, basically just a crisp dot. He ran cover three with like, you know, purples and flats on the left and the right, leaving the middle kind of open. And you know, that drag wouldn't have probably got us a first down if we'd thrown it normally. So we pass it up and it gets like in that perfect angle where I could just throw it for a first down. And that looks like it's gonna be game, man. We could get one more first and probably end it and seal it. But you know, we'll see how it goes. He's right here running inside zone again. He absolutely blows this up. I'm pretty sure I'm on conservative. Yeah, I am. Otherwise, you know, I would have switched it on that play. And here, man, I'm just trying to find a run, man. I'm just trying to find a run. He's right here. We're almost able to bounce that out. LeVar Arrington just kind of just comes in free. And honestly, it would be so foolish of me to pass right here. And you know, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna pass it right here. We're gonna let this go to one second. Psych, we don't even let it go to one second. We're tripping, man. But nonetheless, we get that playmaker dot. Almost get the first, man. Honestly, that's not a bad play call. He probably was maybe gonna, you know, that maybe someone run commits right there, but we make the right decision. It was an easy read. Uh, that's what Playmaker gives you. It gives you easy reads, man. And I'm very thankful of Playmaker. As you see, guys, right here, we're just going to clock this all the way to zero seconds and take the delay of game, kick our three, and play defense for literally, what, like 50 seconds, 45 seconds. We do have this Jason Sanders, and we don't get the accurate kick. So the block is in, you know, possibility. Um, but we're good, man. We are good. We get it up through the uprights. As you see right here, Noah's going back to the world's famous play. He doesn't even have his playmaker there. The double or nothings just eat for us, man. They absolutely just eat for us. We have perfect zone drops and everything. Even if they didn't shed, we we're probably gonna just, you know, end up bagging them up. As right here, he is in bunch tight end once more. We're just guarding any streak, any deep bomb. He just kind of freestyles, rolls out, gets out of bounds giving himself a couple more plays. And I wouldn't lie to you guys, this is literally where Noah's the scariest at. I don't think he's had one of those scenarios yet where he's bounced something like Volt did, but bro, this is still scary with someone like Noah, man. Bo was heating up. He almost had freight train at this point in time. He was four out of five uh, for 10 yard rushes. So, you know, it's just not a, it's not, not an ideal situation, but at least it's not Madden 20 with nasty streaks and all that good stuff. Let's see right here, guys. He runs power O, and I'm not gonna lie, he kind of made something happen. GG Zanoa. What a great game. Shout out to Noah. He fought. There was some fluke in that game, but we'll take it. Next gameplay I'm gonna be doing is my final four gameplay versus John Beast. Let's break down, because I didn't post that game to my YouTube. And like always, I know I did post this, but this is high depth and analysis. Basically what I have to say and think about it. And maybe, you know, you, it can help you guys get better. And I say maybe, but I know it can help you guys get better if you really pay attention and, you know, just read what's going on, man. I'll catch you in the next video, though. Appreciate y'all very much. Peace out. Much love.